Hey, what's up guys? Footy Manager TV here, and I'm back now after maybe five or six days, almost a week now, uh, being away. Basically, I just got a new computer, so I was waiting for that. I couldn't really be bothered with my other computer that's starting to get slower now, and it's really hard to make consistent videos on that computer because it just takes too much effort, and not effort like me spending time on the video. It's just waiting for the videos to render, and yeah, I can't really be bothered with that. And with this new laptop right now, Everything can be done. It's just done nice and quickly, and it's fantastic. I just use it for. I just got it today, basically, and it's very good. It took me a while to get some these audio settings correct, so the quality of the microphone is good. Actually, the headset doesn't work. Like in this, for whatever reason, the headset couldn't work, so I had to get my other microphone. I use like for music stuff. So, uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna use that. Just have to place it right, because obviously with the headset, it's like hands free, so that's good. So I just had to. Uh, figure out this other microphone so I can just leave it how it is and so it's not too far away and all that kind of thing that you don't really care about. Uh, you just want to see the videos and ultimate team features coming up right now. There's some sweet stuff in this year's game, but there's some bad stuff as well. You see Barcelona, they're going to be my FIFA 14 career mode team, at least in the first, at least when the game is out on the early release. Uh, going to go to Barcelona, some favorite players in there, Messi, Neymar, are going to have some fun with them, no doubt. Uh, Iniesta as well to create it. And then you have Messi and... Na I might even go with two striker formation and have Neymar and Messi. That might be the way to go. But And especially David Villa going, but I'll focus on that on another day. Uh, and for today, we've got FIFA career mode... Or FIFA, FIFA career mode? <laughs> FIFA ultimate team, I should say. And this is how... Yep, what's that shit? <laughs> What what did EA do to that? The cards, that is not a card. They changed it to badges. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks horrible. That's just my opinion, but it looks terrible in my opinion. And yeah, I'm not sure what they did, but oh, yeah, it's obvious now they changed it to badges. They, yeah, it, they're badges now. They really gave away the cards. So what's going to happen with pack openings? Uh, like in real life, I know what cards you collect, like player cards or whatever. If you go back in the day, Pokemon cards... They're, they're in packs, so they're cards because they're in packs. So you don't get badges in packs. That makes no sense to me. So I'm not sure with it, what really EA were thinking. And if this is the actual what is going to be, I'm, a lot of people along with myself are going to be really disappointed. But I care about it a little bit, but not as much as the gameplay. I prefer to be the gameplay good. I don't really care about too much, but I know uh, people are going to be uh, a bit like, upset with how it looks right now, because, yeah, they look pretty horrible, if you ask me, if they're supposed to be cards. Uh, but the main thing of this video, I wanted to, along with the screenshots, but I wanted to give away some, I want to put out some information that EA released, actually the features, not just what you can see. There's going to be a deeper chemistry, chemistry system in FIFA 14. You'll be able to customize your squad to any style of football with the all-new FIFA Ultimate Team Chemistry Styles. A FIFA Ultimate Team Chemistry Styles and Loyalty will make each player and every team unique. These aspects replace player formation and morale in the mode. So that means player formation cards are no longer and morale is no longer. So you can't really use them. And people who used, who used to like trade to make money with formation cards, you can't do that anymore. It's replaced by the player styles, which I kind of like that. It changes the game up. I've always said it's been the same for like four or five years now. Since FIFA 09, basically, they had to change it up. And I'm so happy this has happened because it's exactly what me and so many other people have said. It needs to be revamped, and they've done that. So at least I like that part, just to change it up. Even though some people may... I'm not, I'm not really sure what other people think yet, maybe after this video. Uh, but it, yeah, it changes up. It may not be better, but it's something different. Uh, to keep you at least interested for the whole year, That would uh, that's something good in my opinion. Just because it's different, even if it's not better or not. Uh, it'll be people have varying opinions, uh, but to me, it will be it's something it's different. That's the thing that will keep people interested to play. In my opinion, it, it's different, so that's what uh, will attract even new users as well. People who stop playing because it's the same as every year. Maybe that's uh, what they're going for. But there are a, a different uh, FIFA Ultimate Team chemistry styles in the game for goalkeepers, defenders, midfielders, and forwards. Every chemistry style affects the different player attributes which makes each individual playstyle stand out within the game. Much like in like real life as well, the choices you make, like uh, the managers, will affect your team's performance. Like with your, It's more, it's like based on tactics more, like you, how you want each player to play. And I really like that. 
And yeah, that really affects more which players you actually have in your team and then also the roles you choose for them. So I find that, that really good. Like, for example, if you want to increase your striker scoring ability, uh, you'll choose to apply an attacking chemistry style to him uh, to boost, like, it boost his attacking, well, it would boost his finishing and heading. I'm not sure uh, if you'll see here, but uh, maybe in the next screenshot for like uh, Mirosav Closer, it increases his finishing and heading. So, uh, or shooting and heading, as that's the group with the attribute. Um, it will be good to see the full attributes, but I suppose that's the extra thing different to Ultimate Team. But now moving into like the modes in the Ultimate Team game mode, if that makes sense. And the big one right here, online single matches are back. The community's most sought after feature returns in FIFA 14. So many people want to... I know, especially me, with the discard method... Uh, with like discard teams and that, that's I that's something uh, I love to get back in. You see that some money making from playing games with me in FIFA 14 in Ultimate Team. It's going to be nice and easy again, like it was in FIFA 12. Uh, so you'll see that series back and expanded season modes up to ten divisions like that, and to, now a chance to qualify for tournaments uh, within the seasons mode. That's very good. And the new historic season stats will track your results, and you can earn results like all these different rewards and stuff like coins, items, and also players along the way. That's very interesting. You can win players uh, just from playing matches. That's amazing. So, um, yeah, to build other squads and all that kind of thing. But also there is new transfer market search and compare options. This year you can search your players by their name. There's no more searching for Ronaldo, searching left wing, Portugal, Real Madrid, Liga, BBVA. You just type in Cristiano Ronaldo and your man is there. You fork up the 50, 500,000. How much he's going to cost at the start of the game? I'm not sure, but maybe a million. He's a superstar. He should be worth a million. And also, you can compare players in the transfer market and compare them to your players on your roster. So that's something uh, interesting and innovative, one of EA's favorite words. <laughs> anyway, player loyalty. Players found in packs automatically start with a loyalty chemistry boost, but those acquired in the transfer market do not. These players have to play 10 matches before they unlock the loyalty chemistry bonus. So that's how that's going to work. And there's also, as the last feature, new squad customization options. For the first time ever in FIFA Ultimate Team, you'll be able to customize your squad's kit numbers. And also the squad, or I suppose it, it says set piece takers, but it's also set piece takers and captains as well. So you'll be able to change your set piece takers and the captain in the squad screen you see right there. So that's something big right there. And that's it for the features right now. I'm not sure if they're going to release any more because this is a big uh, features for EA's level. So I, I don't think you'll see much more. And like I said right there, Miroslav Closer, he has the finishing uh, chemistry thing right there. And that improves. You can see on the left side right there how it's improving his shooting and heading, and his heading has gone up to 88. Uh, so that will that's really just building on his good attributes. You know, mirrors have closer. He's a beast in the air. So that's just really improving on those attributes. And yeah, I like that. That's sort of replacing the attribute cards because some people see attribute cards as cheating, but this basically gives everyone the option of increasing the player's attributes. That's that's amazing idea by EA in my opinion. So people can't. They can't use that cheating excuse anymore because everyone can do it. It goes down to your just managerial prowess pretty much and your knowledge of your players and what roles, what chemistry roles would be best for certain players. So uh, that's pretty much, that was a great feature by EA. I can't really, I can't wait to see it in action and see how it works and all that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You see all, all those players, all the different players and also don't worry about the ratings. Please don't talk about the ratings because EA have said they're not there. Each time this year, people say about the ratings, they are never fully official. And so don't worry about the ratings. They're going to be different when they're released. So don't worry about your favorite players being underrated or other players being overrated. It's going to, they're going to be different by the time. Of course, some players may be rated the same, but a lot of players are going to be different. So um, yeah, hopefully you can understand that and uh, leave your thoughts on how Ultimate Team looks and that kind of thing. And just get ready for heaps of videos for me because I've got my new laptop, especially for Football Manager up until FIFA 14. are going to be doing heaps. Uh, new series for AC Milan. I've uh, like sort of uh, talked about it a bit. Like With a new computer, it makes sense to start a new series because, I don't know, for me it's unrealistic changing everything, changing saves, ta like taking everything 
and it just feels right to start a new one fresh on my new computer where everything is on high quality and I can start with more leagues and that and more players uh, which other ones I started I couldn't because my other computer's slow and all that kind of thing that you don't really care about if you don't like Football Manager but I really suggest you check it out and it's a fantastic game and I love playing Football Manager and I'm just going to mix it good with FIFA and Football Manager uh, for the foreseeable future and now going into my you know I've always said my first year of YouTube and now I'm going to my second year now I've got a new computer now I can really start to do consistent uploads uh, do consistent series and all that kind of thing so I hope you enjoy my videos um, subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, I'm definitely going to have a lot of FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. If you like Ultimate Team, I'll be doing squad builders, giveaways, just tips how you can make more coins and all of that. So I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys next time with more FIFA videos.